Hey guys, I'm the one who pulls the strings, and this week's video is all about my daily inspirations. Now, my first daily inspiration is people. There are so many people in my life that affect how I think about things and affect my artwork and creativity. And out of all of the people in my life, the people who affect my creativity the most is my deviant art family. They are a group of amazing people, creative, intelligent, and smart. I love them so much. And they affect how I do my artwork, they affect how I think, they affect my creativity, they affect a whole lot in my artistic life or career or whatever. And it's just amazing how much they can do that. It's just things that they say, things that they do. It's just so inspiring to me and I just love them so very much. And there's this girl named Irene who's been inspiring me a lot this month and last month and it's been crazy how much she can inspire me. Just having conversations with her has been so inspiring. And if you're on DeviantArt then you're at least going to see two pictures inspired by her. So yeah, thank you Irene and thank you to the rest of my DeviantArt family who inspire me to do art every day. My next inspiration is places. And what I mean by places is not just like random places around my neighborhood or even in this town. It's places that I want to be when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to go to LA or San Francisco. And, and usually I use big cities as my settings for pictures and art and other places, stories, writings, whatever, okay? Because those places inspire me a lot. Their art, their culture, everything about those places that I want to be uh, inspire me. My next inspiration is dreams. When I was younger, dreams used to control everything in my creative life or artistic life, whatever, you know, they used to cr control everything, whether if it was stories or artwork, and it doesn't have to be dreams that I dream about at night, it could be things that I want to be, same as places, you know? You know, yeah, dreams, they're just really inspiring, and me being a lucid dreamer is awesome because I can, you know, just make up ideas in my head while sleeping, you know? It's a really productive thing to do while sleeping, and I really don't like sleeping, to be honest. In fact, I made a poem about that. Anyway, my other inspiration is human interaction. You see, so this is a little bit more difficult to explain, but I love... I love humans and I love the way they interact and react to, you know, situations. I love socialness. I love the whole concept of society, how humans act in a society, behavior, psychology, you know, all of that stuff interests me a lot. And a lot of the time in my artwork and my poetry, I talk a lot about human interaction or how I feel about the ways human react and even the way that I react in a situation so human interaction and reaction is definitely definitely a huge inspiration there psychology anything like that I don't know it's just something that I've been really interested in ever since I was a little kid so all those things inspire me too in my art and affect how I draw and everything my next and last inspiration are concepts and I think this is a little bit harder to grasp. I know I've said this to a lot of people and they still have like trouble understanding how I get inspired by concepts and the thing is whenever I look at something, whenever I think about something, whenever I do something, I always find a concept and whenever I find a concept I have the need to share it with everybody, whether if it's through poetry, whether if it's through writing or art, anything like that. I don't know. Concepts are just something that inspire me. And if whether if it's a concept in a movie or a book, it's just really inspiring. And that's what drives my artwork is concept. You know, that is the thing that I do the most in artwork and poetry. It's just all based on pure concept. I, I do you know, ideas and idealism and, you know, all that kind of stuff and I don't know, I just love concept. Anyway, if you want to hear more about art or artwork, if you want to hear me talk about different aspects of art, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!